What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video I'm going to show you how to make your own best fire starter with just pine tree. All you need is fine harvest bunch of sap from a dead tree. Even a live tree sometimes have these bubbles of sap that you can harvest it and take it with you. And then when you get home you can make this amazing fire starter. You, we can also call it how to make fat wood fire starter. So let's see how it's done. So right here, usually even a live tree will have it. What you can do is grab an axe and pick all that sap and raisin. It smells really good, but it is very, very sticky. So you can harvest all that good stuff. This is what we are after. There is another good chunk right here. Look at that. It is very soft. That's what we're looking for. It's like clay. It is easier to find on a fallen pine tree because it's a lot comes out when it's dying. It's tired to patch up all the holes in the tree. Very, very sticky stuff. Look at my hands. So maybe wear gloves. So as you can see, you can get a lot of sap really easily and fast. I like to use this kind. What I'm gonna do is split it like this. Boom. This is all sap pine. So as you can see, it's really easy to split up into a smaller pieces. You don't wanna make it too small, but this is perfect. With the, Axe like that, I mean a hatchet, is really easy to do. Get yourself close by fire extinguisher, get some hot coals. I'm gonna try to do this with alcohol stove and you don't want big flames, you want small flames because this, if fire gets in into here, it's like oil, it's all gonna get on fire. So be careful. So next we just have to melt everything up. Maybe this time, maybe it was a little bit too much anyway. So I pour half of it out in a container so I can do that again more. But as you can see, now it's all melted. Now I'm gonna add on some sticks into there. Kind of small sticks, maybe one or two at the time. And then you wanna mix it into that sap. Okay, now it's heating up a lot. So you don't want it to set on fire. That flame is too big on that stuff. So once it heats up and boil up a little bit, you see the sticks absorb all that sap. You don't need much at all to make a whole bunch of them. I'll put a couple more. Okay, this is the same stick but not coated. We're going to try to light it up before the lighter burns out. As you can see, it does not light up. It's kind of windy right now. It does not light up at all. I can hold it on it for a while till my lighter melts. But it's charring it, but it's not light up. Now we got here coated stick. It's nice when it's stick like that. Let's light it up. You wanna melt some of that, and once it melts, it's going to burn so well. Boom, look how well it's burning now. That's insane. You can definitely start a fire with that. If you got yourself moist wood or like maybe you cannot find a lot of dried sticks, even the small ones sometimes too hard to get it going, you can use this stick to get fire going in any conditions. Look how well it burns. Really cool, isn't it? But also if you don't want to make bunch of fire stick, you can just Harvest this sap out of dead trees, even some alive trees has it most of the time. So you can grab this sap and light it up. Just be a little patient. One, two, three, four, five. 
and book boom look how well this sub burns once you get it going wow look at that that's insane isn't it it's a little windy right now so maybe block the wind and if you block the wind look how well that burns amazing wow if you cannot start fire with this in the forest i don't know what's gonna help you because this stuff burns really really hot don't you think and also you can just put it on a bigger stick like this you don't even have to make fire sticks you can just use this sup it's perfect fire starter and you can actually move it around and after a while even this stick will start burning well guys that's pretty much it next time you're gonna go camping Find evergreen tree and find these little bulbs of, um, what do you call it, sap. And that way you can start the fire really easily without buying any kind of fire starter. And there is a lot of them for sale and they're kind of expensive. Also, you can just go maybe somewhere around the house before you go camping, harvest a whole bunch in the Ziploc bag. And next time you go going camping, you can bring some with you once again, start the fire really easy look a little piece of sap it burns forever don't you think it actually provides a really good light right now because it's kind of getting dark now i love it check this out i have a little torch now and i can turn it off and save it for later look it's stuck to the stick now let it burn and it's going to burn well again not as well the first time but once it gets hot, it's going to burn really, really hot again. So it's more than one time use. Once you got the fire going, you can put it out and use it again, maybe the next day. Pretty awesome, don't you think?